correct? Can I, do you have something I can look at to refresh my memory? Asked you questions about where Ms. Reed's SUV If you was. can show me in the, can I see it? Do you have it? I do. Is it or, in there? Yeah, it is. Okay, what? In fact, asked about Ryan Nagel's Jeep, weren't you? If you want to show me. Well, I, I don't want to sit here. Would you be able to show me that? It's going to take a minute. SUV over the course of between the, the beginning text and the end text, it's about 19 minutes, right? 1227 or so to 1245, 18, 19 minutes, something like that, correct? Correct. Can you maybe add a minute because you got back up and didn't text and the SUV was gone, right? Correct. So you would agree we just do some basic math. You're looking at that SUV on average about every three, three and a half minutes. <clears throat> I guess I, I'm. If you want to pull out the times and you can look at them. Well, we, we talked about the times and you mm -hmm. agreed that you were texting between twelve twenty-seven and twelve forty-five. Correct. Right. So if you were just to divide that by five times, getting up and looking, um, I don't know. I'm doing the math in my head. Maybe it's every three minutes or so. Correct. You had a clear and good view. The body was on the front lawn. The problem with that is you were looking at the front lawn, weren't you? I was looking at the vehicle and where it had moved. You know what the field of view is? Would you like to explain it? You had a clear... You'll agree that your testimony in that case, uh, in that in that hearing, rather, April of 2022, that was just a few months after the events in question, right? Yes. You were under oath at the time that you gave that, that testimony? Yes. And you were subject to the penalty of perjury when you were answering those questions, correct? Yes. Ms. McCabe, I'd like you to turn to the page, since you've reviewed this, turn to the page of that document where you ever said in your testimony that my client said, I hit him, I hit him, I hit him. Was I asked what she said? I get to ask the questions. Well, I'd like you to direct me where to look. I want you to look at the entire grand jury testimony. If, if I could take the time and do you want me to read to over 200 pages? May I approach? Yes. No, I don't want to take the time. Then your 911 call, you would agree with that? Well, I'd have to see. I couldn't make that from that muffled. You couldn't tell. I did. couldn't tell. So if you have my phone record, you could, I'm assuming, tell when month before the 911 call ended because I know the 911 call was long because there were multiple, they, you know, they had transferred me multiple times. Right. Questions about the records. <laughs> Which I would love a copy of if I could see. We'll get to that in a second. After... Terry Roberts conducted a formal interview with the police about this case, correct? Do you have the report? I didn't. No, I did not. You made sure you gave Kerry Roberts everything she needed for that interview, correct? Quote, everything she might need for that interview, didn't you? And where is this that you're quoting from? I'm oh, I'm sorry. You, when you quoted, I thought it was in here. 